This video is to show you the most basics of symbology for QGIS 3.4 in this version, but it should be the same for all the three versions. Here I have two data layers loaded. One is a lakes data layer, the other a roads data layer. And if I highlight one of them by left clicking, and then if I right click on the highlighted one and down at the bottom select properties, I get a layer properties uh, window that shows up. Now I can change various properties or investigate various options in the data layer by going up and down this left panel and I'm going to be interested mostly in symbology here. Now when I open the symbology window I have various choices and the easiest way to apply symbology is to pick one of these types and then change the values. Now, in this case, it's a simple fill, but there are many types I can choose. So a centroid fill or line fill, pattern fills. I'm going to show the simple fill first. So if I left click on the simple fill and then on the properties, for example, here I can left click on the color and change the color by a wheel here. So I can select colors around the outside and drag around to change the color that will show here. Or I can pick on one of the pre-existing colors. So I can click here and that color gets added. I can also change the stroke color, the outside color, and change the type. So diagonal, dense, various crosshatch patterns. I'm going to leave it solid here. And you'll look here in the background, so I'll pick a different color. I'll pick this purplish chartreuse thing. You can see then that if that's the selected color when I apply it, the features change that color. So I can click OK and now I have my changes. Now that's kind of yucky for legs. So again I'll right click again and go select properties and go to the simple fill and pick a color in this case. And the color wheel will show up different ways depending on how you enter it. So you can experiment with it and the different options. And then I can say OK and apply and I get my color here in the background. So I can go ahead and close this. And so I change the legs color. I get a slightly different palette. Again, if I select the roads and go open its properties, I see right now the roads are this brown color. I can go ahead and go to a simple line and in that simple line, I can both change the color. In this case, I maybe will make it black, one of the standard colors. And then I can increase the width of the road and apply it. You can see here the road gets thicker. Oh, maybe that's too thick. So I'll go down a little bit and apply it. And so here I have a road symbology I like. Now there's lots of things you can change, how they join, the caps, the end style, whether the stroke is going to be a solid line or a dash line in various kinds of dashes. So there's lots of things you can change and you should experiment with. But just the simplest changes are to select the properties, go to symbology, change the types, and apply. We'll have many videos in the future that show you how to get more involved in the kinds of symbology, but for now you can just focus on changing the simple colors and line styles.